hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel it's diamond mom here again so in this video i'll be showing you guys how to make this little cute headband for your little princess now this headband has a bow and a flower in between so for this headband you'll be making use of this ashoke so i would measure the baby's head circumference if the head circumference is 16 i would advise you to measure um an ashoke that is like 24 or 25 inches long so that you'll be able to create the fold now but for the elastic you would measure the elastic to be the same length with the baby's head that is you measure an elastic that is 16 inches long but the ashoke would be 24 or 25 so that when you put the um, elastic into the ashoke it will create this fold so after turning the ashoke and putting the elastic inside you would now stitch it together that is like what you can see on the screen you stitch it together to create this round headband now when i was making this headband i didn't have my soldering iron like there was no light to make use of it so i had to improvise and also i couldn't get a candle because it was late in the night so i had to make use of matches as you can see because you know ashoke um the edges if you use scissors to cut it it would start removing the strips that is the rope that was used to make the ashoke so you can make use of if you have a candle it will be better so you make use of it to burn the edges so that it doesn't lose or scatter as you saw so after creating the round band i would now cut a long strip that i would use to make the bow so depending on since it's a child you don't need to make this bow so big but at least just make it to be of a reasonable size so i cut a long strip and i also divided this ashoke into two because the ashoke is nine inches in its wideness but i divided it into two that is i have four 4.5 inches and then i would sew it at the end and turn it out so as you can see i am now creating the bow i would use my needle and thread to secure the middle to be able to create that bow So after creating that bow, I would then start to join it to the headband. See, I would advise you to actually like measure this very well to know the exact position that the bow should sit on the headband so that you don't have a bow that would be facing backwards or like, you know what I mean? So I would attach it with my needle and thread also i don't advise you to make use of gum because it would not last if you make use of gum so i would use my needle and thread to attach it and then also measure both sides of the bow to be sure that they are of equal size because you don't want to have a bow that one side is longer than the other side so i would attach it very well like so that it will be very strong So after attaching the bow, I would cut a certain strip that is of the same color with this um, ashoke and I would use it to cover, to conceal that side so that, you know, it's, it's for a baby so that it doesn't hurt their head. So I would use a satin and turn it to conceal that side so that it will be neat also. And then I will cut a flower 
pattern if you don't know how to make this flower pattern please watch my other video on how to make that cute statements headband for an adult so it's the same design of flower that i'm making also so i'll just make the flower and use it you know secure it with my needle and thread also and then put it on the middle that is in the middle of this bowl Please, if you know you find this video useful, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and also subscribe to my YouTube channel if you have not done so by now. So after securing it to the bowl, this is what we have. And for the front, like for the center of this bowl, you can use anything that you wish to design it. If you want to make use of a flower design or beads or rhinestones, pearls, anything. So guys, this is the final result of this band. As you can see, I made use of a flower, like a design I bought to design that front.